You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. This is episode 163 of the Not Your Man's podcast. We out here. Man. I'm out, we out here. Good today. I'm in a good what are we doing for 200? Oh, shit. Probably, Probably got time to think about that. Yeah, we got to do something, though. Like, we got to come up, maybe, like, a, try to do, like, an in-person one or something. That'd be fire. Keep telling y'all to come down to Nashville, man. What's up? That would be fire, bro. That'd be fire. I wouldn't be mad. I'm not opposed. All right. That's, opposed that may be what we do. Yeah. Let's set it up. I, I should be ready to, ready to do things by then. I already started moving shit. It's nice. All right. All right. It's going to be a new thing for this episode for the YouTubers oh. and stuff. I'm, oh, I'm yeah. time stamping everything so mm. find okay. their projects quicker, but I'm going to start harassing people in our story, like, you know, people who we reviewed. Niggas is always in our DMs bothering us and harassing us, and then the review comes out in it's silence. Yeah, it's crickets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're fuckers. Probably the same people that just report us daily. But <laughs> same people. Either way. Episode. Probably that might be my fault. Yeah. Sometimes. No, but we, I mean, you're giving them, I mean, think about it like this. If someone don't like you and they're being a bird, they're just looking for something to report you that like counts. So then they look No, I meant the memes go sometimes. I that, have that, to that's chill. what I'm saying. They probably hate us yeah. and then they see the memes and they're like, perfect. Perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah exactly. They be biting their time with the bird man hand rub. Like, <laughs> ooh, mm-hmm. ooh, they got to post something. The day. Yeah, they got to post something <laughs> that Instagram don't like. Because Instagram really don't yeah. care. Like I've seen people post titties, yep. buttholes on lives and, and shit. shit. Yeah, nothing goes bad. But then we want to post a little jokey joke. That motherfucker's feelings is hurt, and we get reported silently, or we get paragraphs. It's crazy. Like niggas jokes. I'll never understand that. That's one thing I I, I hate about this generation because I'm a big comedian fan, and I feel like comedians in the world of entertainment should have like you know like spies have they have the license to kill yes i agree 100 percent. i feel like comedians yeah. should have a license to say anything i don't care how uh, 100 or how much you're hurt like they should say anything. you don't have to think it's funny yeah i'm yeah. not the point because someone will exactly that's a fact that's a fact yeah kind of had an argument like that recently yeah oh yeah which is crazy, you know. Just to, I, that whole time, all I could think about was Pete Davidson. But anyway, uh huh. <laughs> you know, if you know, you know. But wh- if you know, you know. You want to know something funny? So I remember one of the funniest, one of the funniest um, uh, comedic encounters I've ever, and you know, been to. One time, Louis C.K. came to um, Hofstra, and. I was like, all right, I'm going to go. A couple of homies brought me in there with them, blah, 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 because I didn't go to Hofstra, but, you know. And he came in and started off his whole thing about, like, how a lot of the kids that were there were probably part of a percentage that were going to die from depression, and people were walking out, bro. I was dying. (laughs) I was literally crying, bro. I I love it. Money. And people were offended, and it's just like, yeah, all of them I knew were younger than me. (laughs) It's trendy to be offended now. It's it's crazy. It's because it's, you know what it is. What people Tell forget us. from the deep down of basic human nature, there's always going to be a mass amount of followers and then a few actual like leaders. And the one thing that is with like groups of leaders and followers, the difference between like leaders and followers is how you handle the public or how people see you. And because social media is such a public thing. Like, that's why it's easier to just hate on everything because you're relating to the general masses. And it's kind of killing off our nature to have followers and creating fake followers. You know what I'm saying? Like these fake leaders who come in here and just let us. It makes everyone feel like they're leaders, essentially. You know what I'm saying? Which not everybody's a leader. But that's like yeah, that's facts. And that's OK. And that's okay. You don't have to be a fucking leader or a lion nope. or an alpha. There's betas. There's betas for yeah. a reason. Man, bad. there's all. The, have you seen? Have you seen all like the omega and like? Mm-hmm. There's literally like all kinds of different types. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And it's okay. You don't have to. You, you can't. You can't really create who you are. You know what I'm saying? You're just kind of stuck with it. Yeah. You either are it or you're not. 
And you can, some people, you know, some people are hardened through time because life is rough, but just because you're an insecure asshole who probably knows how to fight, that doesn't make you alpha. Nope. You know what I'm saying? But the, also the, the beauty of the world of alphas and betas and all that, there'll always be a one up. It's always going to be someone who can kick your ass. There's always. There's always a bigger fish. Yeah. Like I grew up my whole life fighting. I've been all sorts of stuff. I've won a lot of fights, but I've been knocked out before. <laughs> Being able to admit that's important. It's important. That's a fact. Because I've never been knocked out. And I don't think I, I'm man enough to admit that if I was knocked out. Oh, yeah. I got jumped. This so what you're saying is. Oh, no. See, if you got jumped, that's a whole. Really, that's no, 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 not jumped. I'm saying. You got, I, I, I didn't get that sentence. I've been jumped before and I didn't even go out. The, the time I got knocked out, a security guard at a show, he was kind of standing on like a box. So he had like a good foot above everybody to see everybody. Oh, yeah. Crazy he the show. And I flipped him off and he jumping punched off of it. Like I saw oh, him yeah, jump he Superman me. punched your ass. Yeah, off of a box. And he was a security uh, guard. Like, I'm a teenager. So so you kind of deserve to be <laughs> oh, knocked out at that point. But yeah, you were asking <laughs> for it. Yeah, you know? he, was, he was looking for it. And he, he put me up. And I just smoke. woke up outside the, the venue with like, you know, my friends just like, are you good? And like, you know, the girlfriend at the time crying and shit like that. But Oh yeah, that's he, he showed up. Showed up at your door with an extra large pepperoni. You know what I'm saying? He <laughs> like that sometimes. I learned a valuable lesson, and I still go to shows and fuck with yeah, security. Fun. I don't care, you know, because I know my energy. So I know you didn't learn. I've got a death wish, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that I should have juked when I jived. <laughs> mm. I should have bobbed when I weaved. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's what I learned. You got, you got just the biscuits, no two piece. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. Oh yeah. Apparently he hit me once. And it, it was, Everybody who it was saw a it, like, yeah, he, he he jumped off this thing and hit you once, and you were once. Yeah, like it was night. It was nighttime. And I'm <laughs> like, I received it was, it was day day. Did, did you set your alarm clock? Because <laughs> <laughs> I woke up mad too because I was like, man, I missed the rest of the show. Bro, he hit the snooze off. button on Wait, you. How, how I'm from a different energy because I would have went in there and still fought him. But that's because I know I'm like I'm. You know, I know something's wrong with me. But that's life. How long was you knocked out though? Oh, Long enough I to think, get dragged out of the like venue. 20, 20, like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. That's a concussion, dog. He gave you a concussion. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's I, was a fact. I was right. That's a fact. Because I got hit and then I hit the ground like hard. Mm. Yo, he, he, so you didn't get the two pieces. It just came like, from the I earth. Hurt. <laughs> yeah, I was hurt. My whole, my whole shit hurt. So like, he did get jumped. Like, I've been punched in the face with like the back of my head. Like my whole, the whole sphere circumference of my fucking head hurt. That's life. Man, that's. That's like, but anyways, that's, that's different. <laughs> episode one sixty three, we out here. This to protect your booty hole episode. Wow. <laughs> mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> that's how we started going on. <laughs> protect yourselves out, the out gate. in this world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Out the gate. Yeah this this episode is for all of the people that canceled the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Each and every one of you. This episode is for you. Yep. <laughs> Shout out. Let us finish before you cancel us. That's a fact. That's a fact. You you might don't. you might find what we have to say interesting. Yeah, don't prejudge <laughs> us just yet. We, we 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 may be crass, but don't prejudge us just yet. <laughs> but either way. <laughs> <laughs> we started off the week. This is a solid week, man. And um, oh, bro, bro, oh yeah, I got to start doing this so people just know what we do. But we review music and send us it. That's for the people listening. We review lots of music, not just hip hop, but a lot of hip hop, more hip hop than anything. We review Mostly. it honestly. Yeah, we review it honestly. We got emojis to it. We talk our shit. We make fun of people. We have a good time. That's the one thing this page does. We do. We're just out here time. causing a ruckus. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of what I love to do. I am a fan of just like, I mean, I grew up an anarchist. I still am quietly. You know, I'm a dad. Anarchy, first. anarchy. You're a dad or kid. Yeah, I'm a dad. I'm a dad. You know, I'm, I'm a dad first. But now, you know, I'm an anarchist. I'm, I'm still out here. So, you know, I kind of love it. I love chaos. I love the beauty in it. But either way, that's what we do. Add us on everything at Not Your Mans. Let's get into this, though. So we started off the week with a solid review. Hold up. Oh, I'm time stamping things today. You feel me? I am time stamping things. So the first project that we reviewed for the week was Hade Phobia, the EP by JK1, the Supernova, and Crazy Beats P. Terrible names. Oh, yeah. This is old head shit, though, because old heads back in the day, you know, their names are just crazy. Like Mikey Lantern, the Incredible. 
JK357 fists, you know, like they were just Jupiter, Sun, of Mars. Crazy. Like, first of all, Jupiter and yeah. Mars are both planets, bro. Like, oh, yeah, they're crazy. <laughs> Them old school names are wild, bro. And then, then they had back in the day, they had the nerve to put it on clothing, like, it didn't even fit. No, oh, yeah. reckless, we're not yeah, bringing that thing. back, <laughs> you know, like, no, what the fuck? Covered in leather. I'm going to come up with, like, the longest album name. I want to go into the Guinness Book of World Records having the longest album name. No. Yes, bro. No. (laughs) You got to do multiple things. It'll be the longest album, but, like, the shortest album. Like, the longest album name. No, no, no. It got to be, yeah, it's it's going to be one song. But it's It's 100 songs. It's going to be the longest album name, but the shortest. It's going to be one song, five seconds long. This is going to be saying hi. (laughs) Fine. <laughs> I'm here for it. I support it. But either way, this project slap. This was like this is a, you know this is a type of this is hip hop. We got to have like a scale because there's hip hop that makes me want to bop. You know it's like pop hip hop. There's hip hop pop hip hop pop pop. There's hip hop that Hippity makes me want to fight. <laughs> and then there's hip hop that makes me that make me want to commit crimes. You know, and this is one of those ones that makes me want to fight. Like this is fist fighting hip hop. Yeah. No, this shit was. This was really good, but but my man just needs to work on his recording quality. You know, I, 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 there, that is a there there is there is some truth to that. The the quality is strange, but it was consistently off. Yeah, yeah but it was yeah. like yeah. but it was like on the like on the peaks of like the vo- like on the vocals and stuff. Yeah. Like when he would like be yelling a little bit and shit, it would be like yeah, yeah. like it yeah, was yeah, like yeah, yeah. there was a lot of moments where like, like fried a little crazy, bit, but like it was very consistent. So it's like at least whoever mixed and mastered it mixed and mastered everything the same. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That shit, that shit was like distracting to me yeah, a little bit. Distract. Um, it didn't distract me too much, but I did hear it. I was like, "Oh boy, here we go." But then again, yeah, I'm not tripping. I'm one to let shit like that slide because that's how my mix is coming. I usually mix everything hot and then I like dumb everything down. So I'm just used to hearing that kind of craziness. So, but that's also because I've been just uh, mixing all yeah, my. Music. Other than that, it was a good time. But it's a good time. This is from this is fight music, bro. This is like some aggressive, yeah. gritty type shit, and it's dope. He has a lot of wordplay. He's got punchlines, you know, got some solid hooks too, man. I was really into this. I thought this was a good fucking time. I thought the production was dope. Nah, I like how I thought it was dope. I thought the I like how the first song was just like smooth and it's like, oh, this is kind of like a jazzy smooth thing. And then the rest are just bangers. It was like bops after that. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to work out, bro. Like this yeah. this album just made me just Yeah, I can like, see that. I was dead That's looking my myself in the mirror, like, you know what? I wanna yeah. I wanna work out today. And, and just yell, yeah. like flex in the mirror yeah. and yell. Yeah, pretty much. Like this album really had me in a. In a it, I have. I was in a really nice mood because when I seen that this one had dropped, I listened to this one on Monday, and I, that was yeah. working. And I was like playing it in between calls, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I'm making a stink <laughs> face and shit. Bro, and call somebody calls, at work. All, all yeah, it's aggressive. Nice. Like, yeah, thanks for calling customer service, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, what's good? <laughs> what you what's your problem? <laughs> How can I help I'm you today? Like, yeah, I'm here for that. I like that energy. Yeah, was, that, this is I like I like that like gym hype type shit because I feel like. I don't know, man. Hip hop's gotten, I mean, mainstream, mainstream hip hop's gotten a bit soft. And even like mm-hmm. the aggressive hip hop is kind of soft. So when you hear something that seems very realistic and like you kind of just get that energy from the dude, like, all right, he probably punches people, that's just a good time. It's like, all right. <laughs> He's slapped a grown man before. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like mm-hmm. hearing shit like that. Cause then it's like, all right. Cause you know, these people exist. So every now and then I'm like, where are they? And then I hear them, like, here they go. <laughs> but that project's dope, man. I fucking enjoyed it. Front to back, it's short, replay value, smooth. It's got that one smooth song, and then the rest is just bops. This is just old school, like mixtape G Unit era type sounding shit, aggression, but with like an older head on it. Fire. So yep. the next bad boy got a timestamp. This bad boy, dude. This timestamp shit. I do this for the singles. Right. How many times you gonna say bad boy? Take that. Take oh, that. I'm getting Diddy, ready for that verse. Diddy is the. Uh... Diddy I'm getting ready for that right now. Yo, Diddy, pour some Diddy rock. talked nice to him on the internet to to Jermaine Dupri. On the um, on the on the verses on when when they did the uh, the the live shit on Instagram. And they were talk they were talking about. No, I'm talking about the comment that he posted it towards him. Oh, nah, bro. They they did a whole fucking like this nigga Snoop was on live with uh with fucking um with Fat Joe. They called up Jermaine mm-hmm. Dupri. They called up Diddy. And Diddy was just talking wild shit to Jermaine Dupri. I mean, Diddy's not wrong. And and all respect to Jermaine Dupri, but Diddy is not wrong. He's not. 
Diddy would like only honestly when Diddy said like he was like the only person you'd put me up there against is like Dre. I get it. Yeah. He, hung, you know up, he hung up on Jermaine Dupree, bro. He was yeah. like, yo, give me Dre. I'm not, I'm not entertaining you. Yeah. I hung up. And he's 100% right. That's so far. He's 100% up. right. And you know what's crazy? <clears throat> there's certain there's certain levels of like that kind of competitiveness where I'm like, oh, well, maybe the South, this. Because I feel like the South fucks with Jermaine Dupree, even though, you know what I'm saying? He's from where he's from. I feel like his sound was more like catered to like the South. And I feel like they wouldn't even back him this hard. Like, no. they would be like, nah, Diddy got this. You know what I'm it's saying? Diddy, yeah. Yeah. It's really hard to go against Diddy. Like, yeah, it, like it's it. just, there's probably shit that we didn't even know his his fucking hands are in. Yeah, that's a fact. Yo, bro, yeah, I so. didn't, he's an executive producer on American Gangsta. Yeah. On Jay-Z's album. Like, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Crazy shit. But yeah, either but, way. Anyway. Next project. Um, this was uh, Three Kings by M. Doc Diego. Crotona P and Manzu Beats. This Again. was a yeah. These names they're killing me today, killing me today. But this project was dope. This was a very sound, uh, like a very solid project. Only thing was the mix was very, very sounded very dated. Yeah, like it sounded like a you know it sounded like they were like yo I want this shit to sound like cassette, which is like I, 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 I didn't get like it as much as you did. Yeah, no, nah, I mean I was more pumpkin. Or pumpkin? lemon, I guess. Whatever oh, the fuck color okay, we yeah, use now. Lemon. I mean, it's the season. It's the season. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Back. We'll bring the orange oh, back. Yeah, that's I a fact. Think what, I think what... Mm, I can give you that because there was one person on this that I wasn't fully on board with. And it was the dude with the with the extremely raspy voice. Yeah, I know he did. He was the only thing that was kind of making me hesitant. But I think everything else the other did, did, dude did and the production was dope. I, like yeah, I was gonna say I don't know, bro. It just wasn't grabbing me. Mm. Yeah, I didn't. I, I was. I didn't really enjoy this one. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay. I, I would have. I'd have gave this one a lemon. Okay. I thought they was yeah. rapping. I thought the production was nice. I was here for it, but I just think the dude with the rasp was too much for me because he I feel like content was there. The beats were smooth. They had a lot of good content. The content, yeah, content was there, content was but yeah. something about the sound. I thought they were doing good hooks. I I, I like I like that whole thing. It was very like at home type shit. But I yeah, I get it. If it ain't, if it's You're not so pulling, it's not like pulling. Johnny's just so for the dark horse. Oh, like, always, always. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm being snooty. I'm That's all right. The dude with the rasp was the only problem I had with this. I think everything else on this was dope. I thought the back and forth was dope. I thought what they was talking about was dope. I thought the production was dope. Features were solid. I usually like that back cool. and forth shit too. Like I'm usually here for that. But I was just like, I was like half checked out the whole time. I think the dude with the rasp was just throwing it off because he was just coming in too hot. And it wasn't like nothing, you know. Yeah, it was, maybe. It wasn't that crazy for him to come in on some rah-rah shit, you know. But mm. it'd be like... Gotta read the room. Video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of dudes do that, though. Because a lot of artists are just programmed to have their voice a certain way, you know. And then they'd be trying to stand out and shit, especially on something like this. Yeah. And the, it, it's like, yo, I sound unique, so I, I gotta rrr, 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 all the time. And then, you know, they have throat problems and couple of years and they can't perform live but anyway congratulations you have polyps <laughs> Facts. <laughs> so the next project that we did was um this was the i still love her h.e.r by cy marshall law this was solid as fuck so one this you should have gave this man his point his point one <laughs> never this was dope. I would have <laughs> gave this, I, you should have gave him that point one you yeah. know why i took i specifically took a point away from him Tell me. And this is petty, but it is what it is. I already know it is. Because I feel like the features were doing a little more work to him. Yeah. I feel Honestly. like the features were cooking, cooking. And whenever he had to hold a song by himself, he was solid, but he was just kind of sliding. And I feel like when the features came on, they were snapping. Like that Venomous 2000, she was fucking going off. That yeah. Fino person was snapping. Like, it, they were going crazy. So, Graph went nuts on this fucking project, bro. Yeah, he was getting. I'm really mad at is the fact that he named it "I Still Love Her" and didn't have her on there. 
It's, whoa, whoa, whoa. First off, that was the most millennial shit you've ever said, Lou. Yo, I bro, never don't once care. thought of you as being younger than me. <laughs> don't and this care, is the bro. first time you've ever said some young shit ever. First of all, first of all you, know, you know how much I love her. This you ain't know how much I love her. This ain't about her, sir. This is a no, to the but, Common but, album, but, sir. So it would it would still be This fire. is older than would, her, sir. This is about hip hop. It would still be fire, bro. It would still no, be fire. Just get her on the hook, bro. Just get her on the hook. Just one song. He don't know who her is. This is conceptual, on, bro. Man. It's this a concept. He only knows man. old school R and B, sir. He Come doesn't on, know who it is. Come nah, on, I don't. Man. I don't know about that. I feel like everybody does. He it's wouldn't like, know who she was. You hear his raps? Yeah, I did. But I still enough. feel like he would he's know. He's not listening to nothing but Gangstar. It's, it's, it's her, bro. It's her. It's her. It's her. <laughs> he's not listening to anything that came out after '96. <laughs> That's a fact. You can tell <laughs> the way he raps. The, the way he sets up his punches and his structures and all that stuff, he's not listening to nothing new. If he was, I'd be like, all right, what's happening? But that being said, he was rapping his ass off. He definitely can punch. He was definitely wild. And the production was solid. I just feel like, for me, his voice was dope, but like it was just became too much when it was just songs with him by himself, and he needed contrast. Like He was kind of over-rapping me to death, which sounds crazy, but... It's re- you know what's really funny to me though is that the the song you the third song the title track mm. that you uh, that you gave a, you gave it a fire but like mm. that's like one of my least favorite songs on here. Oh, I love that track. Mm. But only I because think, like, I think it was I only because of Venomous. Was, Venomous Venom went crazy. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Exactly. But that was well, the only no, I, verse I really liked off that song. Yeah. Ex- I'm with Luke, but the whole. It's so funny because like I couldn't help but think that like like I like I like concept pieces and stuff and uh-huh. I fucked with the concept of this and shit but like it really like I've never heard because there's so many songs out there like dedicated to hip hop and like personifying well, I mean, hip hop and common stuff. Originally but, did it. This is based off of like the common, you know. Okay, let me finish the thought. <laughs> there's so many conceptual pieces and songs like dedicated to hip hop and like personifying hip hop, but this mm-hmm. man was simping over hip hop in that song. He was, and I wasn't mad. And I was like, I'm not here for this. <laughs> show, I was show. like, he probably talks to women like this too. <laughs> show hip hop some love, sir. Uh, he's like, I don't care if you've been ran through. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm okay with this. The the, the 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 ran through raps, the dusty come up raps. I'm okay with it. Simp for some hip hop, sir. Simp for the culture. I mean, get it how you I live, I guess. I liked it because he was kind of playing on the you know the common. I used to love her, and he was kind of doing the same thing common was doing. Yeah. So I think it was just a good follow for that, and he also did it without completely like blatantly copying common. So I thought it was a fresh take. So I wasn't mad at it. That's the, the old end headed me. Love that song. That's my only real complaint. That's fair. I ain't mad at that. But either way, that project, I still think is solid. I mean, the production and stuff overall is a good time. It's just just solid hip hop. It's nothing I'm going to be like, yo, this is the fucking crazy shit ever. But I think it's solid. solid. Still should have just gave that man his point one. Never, never, ever, ever, <laughs> ever, 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 ever. So anyways, next, the next jammy jam, the next project. Oh, man, I've been listening to this aggressive. I don't know why, but sometimes projects hit you. And it just it just hits at the right time. And this hit, and I was like, I love this project. Like it wasn't even like, I don't know. I guess I was looking for music like this, but this was a uh, Welp by um, CEO Wave and Ja P. J P. Ja P. I don't know. Ja P. <laughs> it, was, it was a little vibey. They were going, but when they rapped, I was not expecting yeah. them to rap the way they was rapping. You know what I'm saying? Especially not with the way the way the project opens. Yeah, yeah that's like you hear yeah. like vibey, like <clears throat> auto tune shit. Nowadays, I'm not saying in general. Like nowadays, you don't expect like niggas to go full, you know, Lil Wayne punch Start on snapping. and fucking get stupid. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And these motherfuckers was getting stupid, like even with the punchlines. But then they was rapping about women. They was mm-hmm. rapping about some real shit, but like still kind of keeping that crazy energy and punching. I was like, yo, I'm impressed, bro. I was like, this shit is hitting. This shit was a bop, and all the production was crazy. I actually hit up the dude on the in the comments who was like, "Yo, I produced this whole thing." I was like, "Bro, talk to a uh, CEO, produced it too." Talk nice. I was like, talk, talk nice to me. <laughs> yeah, talk nice to me. This beat, these beats were fucking refreshing, bro. Yeah, they were guys. It was this was on point. This was yeah, this, this was you could yeah. you could hear some passion. 
yeah, this project was just fun. Like, this is the perfect blend of when, like, people are passionate, but they also fuck with the new age, but they're not trying to sell out, but they feel like they are, they can be better than what's on the radio. Like, this is just people who are like, nah, we're nicer than that. That kind of, like, ego shit, but they, like, actually came with it rather than, like, just faked it type shit. And they was going off back and forth. Like, that homeboy, the Jop, that he sounded mad fucking aggressive. He was, like, barking on tracks. I was like, let's go. This shit was nice. Yeah. This, is, this is my type of shit. Like they, the contrast was here. The pacing was dope. Short, I was a little. I was, was a little like. I was a little wary at first. And then you, once it starts picking up, you're like, "Yo, my speakers are I was like, yeah. fucking bopping." Yeah, I was like, "I'm here for this." <laughs> yeah, my 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 speakers started knocking. I was like, "Let's like, go!" Oh, like, all right, and it just kept going, and it just it it ended strong. Like the end, the last few ch- songs were just like back to back heat because that's when they decided to rap. Like they started the project off making like catchy hooks and some dope auto tuny shit, but towards the end, they were like, "Oh yeah, we rap a lot," and I'm here for yeah. It started pick, it started picking momentum up. I like that though because it was like a natural progression. Yeah. And what's crazy, this shit hit for me because a lot of days I usually do my reviews while I'm playing ball. So I'll just be outside balling or whatever so I can really like listen to it and zoned out. And then, you know, if if I start like getting crazy on the court because the music is making me, you know, I'm over here trying to do 360 layups and shit like that. I know the project's hitting. And I was just like, yo, I was just going back to my phone. Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire truck. I'm like, yo, these songs are hitting. After I finished the review, I fucking typed up my shit. And I balled for like two extra hours just listening to this shit. I was having a blast. That's how you know. Yeah, this shit. This shit had me hyped. I could have. I could have went. If I was lifting, I would have hurt myself. <laughs> That's <laughs> all my back out today. Yeah, I would have hurt myself. Like I would. I would have canceled this episode. But I was having a good time, man. I was here for it because these are dudes. When people rap like this. That's usually when so- someone tells them, like, oh, y'all niggas is sold out. Y'all, y'all just doing singing shit. Y'all not rapping no more. People don't just rap like this for fun. Let you people know? make art, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bags. Auto tune. Auto tune. Now everything's auto-tune. sold out because you don't like it. I don't even know what's selling out anymore. You know, because I feel like that term needs a needs a revamp now. 100%. I, it's cause, overused. Because selling out now. Oh, I made something popular. It's not even that. I honestly, because I feel like people, when you go with like selling out, I feel like it, nowadays it just costs money. <laughs> you know, it costs um, money to sell out. I feel like, like people only say something is sold out. Money. I feel like people only say you sold out nowadays when you make something that's popular, but not what they like. Yeah, but that's so the they're thing. like, oh, you it's sold like, out. Yeah, true. I don't know. If, it just feels like it's weird. Like. Back in the day for me, when you hear someone say someone sell out, to me that was like back in the day when like hardcore bands or like thug were like corporate. Bands, they would go like, Oh, we're gonna do hair metal and some like melodic bullshit. And I was like, Oh, they fucking sold out. But like when I hear like rappers doing it, it's like, bro, like you're rapping, I mean, out of a lot of the genres of music, I'm not saying it's the easiest, but it comes with the most natural instrument, which is your voice. You know what I'm saying? And the easiest form of it, you're rapping. You're you're talking words and ra- and rhyming shit. So and it's creating like, a rhythm. And, to yeah. sell out, you have to do a lot in rap. Like, you probably have to pick up an instrument or learn something or just shell, shell out a lot of money. So I feel like, you know what? If you want to sell out, bro, if you can afford it, go for it. You know? Like, if you don't want to be a rapper, you want to go pop, fuck it. For, pop for me, for me, I feel like selling out nowadays like in today's culture would be more about like hard lining and like becoming an opinion yeah like where you oh, make yeah. like oh, a political yeah. opinion or something your whole identity yeah 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 to that's me like, that's you know, selling yeah, out for me, you're selling out is like what, what um chance the rapper's brother did when he was telling everybody oh i was by and then like his whole next project had like a kid and got married <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, exactly. You, like, you did that shit on the gay wave, and then yeah, just you, was identi- like, oh, you just identified kidding. as something for the clout. Yeah, yeah. But either way, you know, I, I feel like artists should just enjoy themselves. Like, I wouldn't even be upset if like Rome Streets hopped on a pop track or something upbeat. Have fun. <laughs> nah, but motherfuckers used to do that shit all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah, but that's a fact. 
So it's like the hardest, like the to the you know the the fucking like Pac and Biggie and them have done shit like. It's like go for it. Exactly. Like, Why not? Why not? Yeah, it's I just music. People want to put you inside a box and you yeah. have to do this, you have to do that. Like, nah, like, like, why can't I just have do, fun and do yeah. what I want to do? It's like, nigga, I'm famous because I went into a studio and wrote words about this. Do, I'm not whatever you want. People. Don't make me go do that. Yeah, That's do whatever you want. And as long as you're happy and the check clears, fuck it. You're good. You're good. Everybody's going to think we're drunk this episode. I am a little drunk. Nice. Wait, should, 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 I, should I start nice. drinking too? Like, yo, fat, yo, high key. I'm about to go grab. I got all I got is okay. All I ever have is. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm so, gonna, you know, yeah. gonna go open up a, a Corona. Why not? <laughs> Love that. We keep the party going. Yeah, we're we're drinking to to selling out. <laughs> and, the, and and by the way, guys, we we got bought out by Disney. No, I'm just, but. <laughs> Of course, imagine, you're gonna imagine we get bought, bought up by Disney. Yo, first of all, we get bought up by Disney. I um call me a sellout. I do not care. Oh yeah, call yeah. You're gonna only see sellout. me dress like Andre three thousand in public. Yo, bro, I will every day. I'm going to be wearing a skirt. Don't care. Disney. <laughs> well, I'm by Disney. I feel like, like you, they low key are pretty comfortable. Yo, yeah. bro, you oh, know yeah. what? You know, Let's I just had out. this conversation with somebody the other day because it was like, oh, how do you feel about New York and the fashion and everything? And I was like, yo, low key, if, if not for nothing, if I was to wear, it'd be so hot that I'd be thinking about it sometimes. I'm not even going to lie to you. Dude, like, listen, I look at my wife a in a sundress with, uh, like and I'm like, she looks so briefs. comfortable. A skirt with briefs listen, sounds amazing. Bro, fuck, it really does, bro. Whole, like, not to get, not to get, you know, not to get political, but. Fuck this whole like gender clothing thing because if we're gonna keep it a thousand percent, men wore skirts before women. Yo, that's a whole thing. Well, <laughs> Yo, first of all, men fact. men wore heels before women. It was exactly invented for men. We're not so, we're not gender bending. We're taking back our things. Yo, we're, yo, it, yo, you know how you know how women Take be like we're taking back, back. this hours, women empowerment. What about men empowerment? Like you know, what I'm yeah, like, what, about, what about the clothes that the sweatshirts that y'all take from us? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I need my sweatshirt back. This is cold. Like, <laughs> I'm, t- I, I'm encouraging every fan or listener of ours. If you see a woman wearing a skirt or heels, just be like, way to try to be a man, bitch. Right? Yo, we're starting a new wave. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro, I'm taking men, it back, you bro. Dress like us. I'm taking it back, bro. Yo, yo, if you see me, if you see me wearing the skirt on Instagram, mind your fucking business. I'm taking it's it not back. A, it's not a skirt, it's a kilt. Yo, it's a kilt. Facts, bro. Nah, nah, fuck that, bro. It's a skirt. I, I'm gonna own my shit. I'm gonna own my shit. Are you gonna rock the a only, petticoat too? My only, the only nah, 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 reason I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it that far. I wouldn't wear that often is because I, I, I have the mentality that at any moment I, I have to be able to run a pickup game. And that's it. I just feel like yo, I couldn't, bro. you know. Bro, yo, dude, nobody's going to guard you. you, you, you seen, what off. was it? What was it? Mrs. Doubtfire that she was playing ball? <laughs> Robin yo, nobody's going to guard yeah. you in a skirt, dog. You're thinking about this the wrong way. Yo, that's, that's oh, a you're fact. you're 100% right. That's a fact. Yo, bro, I'm telling you, so next summer, the, the, I, I swear, the, the first day is dumb <laughs> hot outside. I'm I'm wearing a skirt, bro. Listen, I'm listen, gonna I, skirt. You're gonna I'm, see that. I'm not gonna the, wear the, the whole Man's website. Like the merch is gonna update. I'm just putting I'm skirts you, on the website tonight. Like, Fact with the with the Not Your Man's logo on it for men only. Word. It's gonna be the men section. You know what? I have a feeling that if men really start wearing skirts, that women are gonna find a way. Because you know how like women love us to wear like gray sweatpants. <laughs> this print in a skirt is gonna be way worse. Like, <laughs> oh, you know what's actually gonna, gonna be hitting the wind gust worse. a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, We're all just mad saying? Monroe. Like, yo, balls slap against the wind real quick. Yo, just, bro, we uh, recreate Marilyn crazy. Monroe. It's you know what cra- cracks yo. me up the most about this this whole conversation is like if this gets serious and like any of us like has a one on one with like a a nation of Islam brother and we like prove to them like no, it's men made skirts. It would like. What would happen? It could be game changing. Listen, <laughs> I mean, his mind, he Listen. might, his head just might explode. That right now, he's signing ability, bro. What's the what's the fucking robe that other than just like a really long dress <laughs> with arms? Yo, bro, 
I don't care what nobody wrong. says, bro. I don't care what nobody says. I am taking it back next summer or summer 2021. No, this is 21. 2022. <laughs> Hot boys summer. Skirts. Skirt. Hot boys summer. Skirt. Yeah, city boys are up, all right? City <laughs> boys up. Skirts next year. Let's go. City boys are going to be up next year. Fine. I don't care what nobody it. says. I support it. I support it. <laughs> Anyways, where are we at now? Oh, so next project. That was a wild tangent. And we're not even up to the project <laughs> that we should be talking about skirts. But the next project was uh, the, fun- the the Fundamentals, Volume 2, The Roses. So this was um, a lot of this was instrumentals, but it had uh, people rapping on it. It had like features on some of the tracks, too. Um, heavy so, samples. Heavy samples. That yeah, you just, heavy on the samples. You, but like heavy digging samples because it wasn't samples that I could like immediately recognize or anything like that. No, yeah, it's definitely shoot. like a little more obscure. Yeah, which is dope because that means they looked for them. You know, my fault if I'm chewing loud. Yeah, triscuits are just there are a lot to chew on, but I feel like I could take a punch. Yo, triscuits are so good. <laughs> Five with some with some uh, cracker barrel sharp cheddar cheese. Nah, nah, nah. nah we don't you know the cheese. I made I made you know homemade the, bruschetta. Ooh. You know the origin of the Trisket name has been lost. Are you for real? <laughs> what do you I'm mean? dead ass. I'm dead ass. This dude, this dude uh, went on like you, a whole nah, like investigation. Explain, this dude went on like a whole investigation on like it was like some Reddit shit. He went on like this whole like investigation trying to figure out like where the name came from, and even the company doesn't know. Oh wow! Are you serious? I yeah, no, like they they said that like there's like, like that after ten p.m. Bro, there's like, like a the there's like a. In the morning. There's like an old like ad somewhere that says something about it being baked three different ways. And that's where like the try comes from. But other than that, they're not really sure. Mm. That's right. That's that's wild to me. Co- completely not hip hop related at all, but still fun to know. Um I'm, I'm there has to be a podcast <clears throat> about this. I feel like there might be like, <laughs> like, a, like a true crimes podcast, but it's just yeah. about like obscure yeah. names. Yeah. Because I love that's that. crazy. Because there, there's a there's a podcast that I was listening to for a minute, and they were going through like the the origins of a lot of strange things, like restaurants and like food products and shit like that. I feel like they need this. This is like their ultimate episode. Let me send this clip to them. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to them later, but I'm not mad at that. But anyways, this is the fundamentals, volume two by the Roses. The Roses is the producer. And um, this is dope. This is a bunch of instrumentals that are super solid, nice and smooth. And then it's got some of the songs, got some voices on there, you know. (laughs) And it was just good. I mean, I thought this was a vibe. This is probably, I mean, not a seven point, probably just a seven for me. I don't know if I'd give him that point five, but this is. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with you. Yeah, this is a smooth, smooth seven for me. I mean, this is just. I mean, this is driving music. You know what I'm saying? This is study and drive or puzzle. Make puzzles. <laughs> Lo-fi hip hop. No, I'm just kidding. Kind of. Yeah. Pretty much in that sense. This is like just sampled, like more sample heavy because lo-fi is usually just a bunch of noises. Sometimes there's samples on the lo-fi ones. But yeah, this is smooth, man. I wasn't mad at this. I, I enjoyed myself very much on this one. I um, This next one, though, I actually had a really good time with. I've been having a good time with music, man. There hasn't been stuff kicking my ass lately. So I'll take that. But um, this next one was Campfire by Lucy Camp. This was a good time. She was doing a lot of weird shit. And I am in a weird bag. And I fuck with weird shit. And she was doing it. She could rap. She could sing. She was doing a lot of different things on here. And it was very experimental. But I think a lot of the risks that she took were kind of hitting for me. <clears throat> it was a little weird for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. It, was a, it was a little out there. Like, I like I'm not that. saying I didn't like it, like, but I didn't fully enjoy it. Like, I wasn't fully invested into it. Like, I was only okay. listening it to it because I wanted to. I wanted my own, like, honest opinion on it. But I okay. really, I really didn't really enjoy it. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. I'm not. I was here. I, you know, eh. I was kind of like. Good time. That was the thing I heard. Okay. You were just like, you know what I mean? Like, music. I was like, oh, okay. This is music. Yeah. I Somebody made this. I acknowledge. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't something that like I would put on, like per se. Like if I'm driving to or something like that. Like, oh, this. It, it was just something that it was. It was just. It was cool, I guess. And then it wasn't. And then it was again. <laughs> and then it was kind of weird. Yeah, I feel that. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was, was really up and down. Just... It was like being on a roller coaster, but the I've, roller I've coaster wasn't all that enjoyable. <laughs> 
I've been playing a lot. I've been playing RPG. Uh, I've been playing uh, the Yakuza Like a Dragon lately, and this kind of mm-hmm. hit that vibe for me because that game's very strange. Mm-hmm. So this You're is strange, bro, so. is like hitting. Yeah, he, I I mean, strange yeah he, he's a very strange person. I, I, I wear it. I wear it well. <laughs> I don't hide it, you know. No, you definitely, you definitely rock it. You know, we just have like. Yeah, I'm not afraid. I mean, we're all a little, we're all a little mad here, you know. So. I mean, well, this, well, I think there's levels. I think there's levels because it's like, it's like dice is like low key crazy, um, and high. No, no, key. low key, like high, low key, yeah, high low key, key and high key. It's, it's it's high key, but it's low key. He got that. He got that. Um, he got that energy. You like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's high key. Uh, there's Volko, no low key. That man has zero. Volko has slowly but um turned into a real city boy, and I love it. Like I thought. Oh, yeah, nah. I'm I'm I like low key problematic. It. Like people don't like you look at me, and I seem <laughs> unassuming, and then I start talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm more the pretty boy, but I'm like the hot head pretty boy. Okay. Like I'm the quiet one until like something I'm a firecracker, put it that way. And then there's Johnny. Johnny, <laughs> the leader, the fucking Enigma. <laughs> the leader, yeah. Just a whole Enigma. fucking Enigma. Yo, he is like he is like the very opposite of Patrick Picard from um from uh from Star Trek, right? Because you know how he's so calm and so like decisive. Nah, Johnny is just fucking chaotic. Like yeah. he's not calm or indecisive. He is chaotic and it's and it's almost calculated. It is. That's the thing. <laughs> it's an organized me, chaos. To me, right? I I like I know like, what I'm I know. Doing. That's what's scary. Like. like People that's like, oh, what do you do? You know what you're doing, and I'm like, yeah, I think I, I feel like I do. You know, I'm confident. Yeah, like I'm a hundred percent in on what I do. But but see, I, I, that's that's what makes right. that's what makes shit like so like <laughs> mind boggling when shit is so chaotic and so like like it, there's just total anarchy. I feel and like that's how you're I just living. Yeah, you just thriving it. It's like you yeah. know the, the house could be on fire, but it's what that mean with the dog and it's like oh, yeah, this is fine. I'm fine. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, that's fine. just how I grew. That's just how I've lived my whole life to where I don't notice it. Like I just don't crazy. notice the, all the chaos. I love it. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, I don't know, man. But hey, that's not safe. You know, you gotta just you gotta live. I, this I, you know, this project like, I, is my life. I, I envy fire. how comfortable you are in case like I, I'm first of all I have I have huge anxiety. So like when shit gets too chaotic, like I start to freak the fuck out and you're just like totally cool about See, it. You're just like, I yeah, well, like if, you know, if things got we're gonna die. To me, I would lose my mind. I'm more I'm more like that, I gotta say. I feel like if things yeah, went, you like, are. good for I me, do much better under pressure. Quiet, I would go crazy. I would literally yeah, lose if my you mind. if you leave me alone and it's like peaceful, my life <laughs> falls apart. Yeah, that, yeah, I see that. No. See when I'm when shit is peaceful in my life, I'm I'm more of like the skeptic. I'm like, nah, shit is. You, when's, shit the other, is quiet, when's the other shoe like, gonna drop? Yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's quiet over here. Yeah, too quiet. Like yeah, <laughs> too <laughs> quiet. Yeah, this is. I don't trust this. Somebody makes yeah, you know, like and, and it, shit could be going perfectly fine, but I find a way to fuck it up because like <laughs> shit is just too calm. It's like nah, this shit is just too good to be true. That's fair. One hundred percent fair. Fair. I'm just like, all right, it's super wide in here. I have to knock something over. <laughs> yeah. You're like a you're like a six year old kid, bro. Like, yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh bro, like it's oh, it's too quiet. Let me make little, some noise, son, mom, dad. Me and my son go back and forth. Like, I will make fun of him all day. Like, we'll just torch each other until one of our feelings is hurt. Like, that's very. Like, oh, that was too far. It was too far. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right? Fuck you, Dad. All right, come on, man. I ain't, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I ain't mean to do it all that, man. Sometimes that. you got to be careful, though, because kids be, like, hella observant, oh, and they will you. flame your ass. Oh, yeah, they'll cook Oh, you. yeah, without a doubt. That's like that's like a kid coming up to a to a woman that is conscious about her weight and says, you know, oh, my God. why are you so fat? Like, yo, bro, that... <laughs> <laughs> Chill. The best. The best. <laughs> like, damn, bro. And and, and you're not and the, and the kid is not even related to the woman. Oh, the best. <laughs> that, I, yeah, I, he's I, just, I completely appreciate that brutal honesty. Because he just I mean, saved you, her life. You do, <laughs> but then the you don't because it's like, god damn, like <laughs> I love it. I think people need that in this world. I feel like that kind of honesty is a hundred percent needed. That's why I'm such a blunt individual because I feel like in my head, I'm a hundred percent convinced that my honesty is helping. 
Sorry. Until it does. That sounds like a crazy got, you got good intentions say. at least. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I have good intentions, but like, I, but like, like, I need to be told like that is not how you do things. Or, yeah, sometimes you, know, you say shit and people be like, that hurted. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that hurted. And then I can't take it back. You know? but, yeah. So what I said. Yeah. <laughs> so the next project, this was. Um, uh, oh yeah, this was uh, Red Seeds box. Volume One by Northside Will. Ooh, this was solid. I, I skipped it. This was Red solid. Seats. It was a four piece. It was four songs. It was very solid. Yeah, the Red Seats. Oh yeah, facts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, this I don't a, know. I, did, I I thought that this one was it was regular. It was, like it wasn't think, too. Yeah, it, it was even killed. It wasn't too high. It wasn't too low. Yeah, yeah. He, I think motives was dope. Uh, the reason that got the fire out of me was because I really like what he was talking about. Like when people are mm. calling out fake shit and all sorts types of stuff, that shit hit for me. And he was really addressing like fake people shit. And I was like, all right, this this put that regular tone that he took the rest of the project a little bit higher for me because I was like, at least I didn't know he could string together this kind of content. But outside of that, he was just just coasting, coasting on some cool beats, you know. He wasn't changing the game. He wasn't setting any bar. He wasn't like trying to do no crazy shit. He was just rapping what he knows and not trying to like take risks or anything. You know, it's very safe. It was regular. Yeah, yeah it was, super safe. Yeah, like I said, it was too too. To me, it was too even kill. I felt like he could have took was a risk here or there. Quality, but kind of mids. Yeah, it was just yeah, it was, it was just, not kind of. It was all the way mid. <laughs> In my opinion, I thought it was all, all the right. Way all mid. right. This okay. isn't the za. <laughs> Fair. I, I'm not mad at the all the way mids. So I was like, all right. I was cool with it, honestly, for this project. And I even said it in the um in the review. If this would have went on a few more songs, I would it would have bored me. Yes. Uh, yeah. I but because it, it was four songs, it was a it was blessing like that it was short. Yeah, like it because it was short. If this would have went a few more songs and it never picked up the pace or changed its, you know, sound or anything, I would have been like, all right, this shit is boring. Where's the diversity? Yeah. So the yeah. fact that it's just four songs, I'll take it. For four songs, a small little little, you know, throw out there, a little <laughs> I'll take it. I'm sorry, how'd that go again? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but um I'm not mad at it. <laughs> so the next project I fucked with heavy, bro. Heavy. Because one, I like that gamer shit, obviously. Gaming shit is always gonna catch me. But even though homie sound like E40, he can fucking rap, man. This was the loot box by Dirty Needles, bro. <laughs> I, I do feel like this was a little less, a little less E40, E40 for E40. me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He he, he carried that. Dirty he, Needles he, is nice, though, bro. He's nice, right? Like, he can fucking rap. Like, yeah, And let's I be like honest. Like I've said this before, but one of the hardest rap names out there. Yeah, yeah. His name is fucking Fire. And the way he's like this, needles after things, I'm here. Yes, yeah. yo, this this album was high key. Like, I just want to play mad video games and just listen yo. to this one album, bro. Like, yeah. I could legit play 2K all day just bumping this nigga's album. Oh yeah, on repeat. I could. You know what? This made me want to play. This made me want to jump back on Splitgate for a little. This made me want to shoot for a bit. But yeah, I fucked with. This, yeah, I can man. see that. I, I can see that energy too. I like the because it, yeah, because it's very high energy. I like. I could definitely. Yeah. 2K, and it's high energy, and I like. He can he he can rap rap, but he can yeah. punch as well. And the fact that he is stringing together like Easter eggs, you know, for the gamers in the raps that are you know based off of like video game stuff, music stuff, on top of like actual content, but also sprinkling in like really dope punchlines. That's hard, bro. Yeah, that, that's hard. Man's and, uh, be spitting. Yeah, he yeah he was fucking he was going off. And then I thought the beats were fucking dope. I was here for the beats, like. I was super here for it, man. I was like, this is a dope project. And I <laughs> shout out to Trip for the review. But Trip's review is the most like as seen on TV, <laughs> the first 10 <laughs> you customer reviews for a project I've ever seen. Right. Like, We've got a simple ass review. <laughs> So uh, no, dirty bro, needles so, deserves better. Yeah, yeah, this shit was like better. this shit was like two bars, bro. It's like you know what? This, this is a little like late, but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try <laughs> this to project finagle is this. Good. This project is just, good. This project is good raps. 
Yeah, he, he literally should have just put it's all right and just left it at that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I mean, it sucks because, like, I rock with Dirty Needles, and I know Dirty Needles, like, we, like, that that last review, he was not, he was, he was, he was like, yo, damn, you know? So he took that to heart. So this project, he, I know a lot of this project, he's like, oh, these are not your man's niggas. I'm, I'm making this shit so these motherfuckers, you know, hear me. And I hear yeah. him. Like, I fuck with I this I would have gave this one a nine. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah, this was because uh, nice it was really up there. It. it was up I there. I really enjoyed this album. Yeah, I highly enjoyed. I think it. I think he did everything well to like. This is like if you go to a, a fucking a gaming convention and there's also sneakers there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and they all just yeah. along in hats. Yeah. yeah, and they're all just like, "Yo, we could chill with these nerd motherfuckers. This is cool." Like. You know, like I just see hood niggas like, oh, I like the Pokemons. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I fuck with this whole <laughs> yeah, energy. It's literally like, like if Lid set up at the Comic Con. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Sometimes at Comic Con they be having. I remember the first time, like when Logic started blowing up, he had a booth there. I met the dudes from Run DMC at a Comic Con once, and they were doing music shit there. Like, it's just it's just shit like that. Like this is the perfect. Like he did that via music, and I fuck with that heavy. And I'm like, damn trip, you gave him this. Vanilla ass review. This Amazon fucking <laughs> Amazon wish dot com. Review. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, yo. And I want. I know Needles needs his flowers, so I'm like, yo, I'm gonna give him his props on here. Personally, I would give this a nine. I think you deserve that point five. Yeah, but, I, I, I think he did too. All jokes yeah. aside, we fuck with you. All right, Needles. Yeah, even yeah, though we say you sound like you're forty. Needles. Um, yeah, yeah, even definitely. Though, yeah. I didn't even know who he was in I listened to this shit. And yo, he, no, just no, he's, like, he's been around. He's yeah, one of these cats that like. He's one of the cats that like uh, we did, you know, that we discovered, you know, just off the page alone that I mm. honestly would put him up against people. No yeah, problem. Because no, I feel like he can punch so well that like he's waiting for someone to test him. Yes. Mm. Oh, man, I'd love some dirty needles beef. Because like he's a smart dude. And, you, and that's the thing. People think like all oh, dudes might be nerdy, this and that. But like the worst people you can fuck with in your life are smart people. <laughs> Just don't Just dismantle do your shit. Yeah, he would. I feel like he would literally destroy them. Like he would destroy them. Like first he would like study them, do a whole thesis, and then write bars to it, and it would hurt. Like it would fucking hurt. He's Someone gonna be just tried to for swag. Sure. Yeah, you couldn't come at him with some. I make more money than you. I get more listeners. Like you would die. You would die. Your listeners yeah. would stop listening to you and listen to him. He's gonna he expose some shit about your life. Yeah. Hey, but this project was super fire. I like the whole concept, the name. I love the cover with the fucking PlayStation hat and the controllers. I actually have that. Uh, that's the camel controller. I have that and I have a gold PlayStation controller. But like, yeah, I, I'm here for all of that. The only thing that would upset me is if you don't have a PS5. But anyways, next project. This is the one. This is the big one, man. This is the one that I was like, man, people are finna hate us. After oh, this. I knew. I knew. I knew. I even said something in the chat. Yeah. Even though I knew yeah. you were going to fuck with this, I said something. I was like, who's going to get canceled for the culture? Yeah. We're either going to get canceled or like by, by like the, you know, the cancelers or by like rap. And, you know, but I, I mean, I didn't get too much backlash. So I know people probably was like, put it on and were like upset that they were enjoying it. They were like, God but, damn uh, it. This is good. <laughs> yeah, dude, this I, is Montero. I don't know by why Nas X. Thought, the thing is, it's not like he's ever come out with a bad song. Like any Bro, song that's hit the radio hasn't been a bad song. So yeah. I went into this album high key thinking like this is probably going to be a good album. Because when you when you can string together solid hits and that work, especially for the radio, so everything that you on drop like is pop, radio ready. On a yeah. pop and radio tip. And what's crazy is like Bro. Old Town Road was was it is a great song. You got you can't deny it. And yeah, thanks. He shopped that on his own for okay. mad long like he made that without the money you know you see what i'm saying like he mm -hmm. made that song and that song is as radio as radio hit song as it is gonna get Facts. so he made that on his own so like you're you don't make a song like that unless you study the game you understand what kind of music you want to make you understand what the media is looking for you know what i'm saying you, you can't make that song without being conscious of what is in the mainstream and what sounds good quality wise and all of that so yeah, he has that I'm down. All the way <clears throat> yeah. And then and then I love his antics. I love the fact yeah, that me too. he just pisses everybody. He's a the troll, fuck big time, bro. Yo, you know what pisses not? me off? Just do it. When people are like, "Oh, I mean the music's okay. <laughs> I just don't think it's very funny that he trolls and all." It's like, 
Bro, when people say shit like that, they're just looking for a reason to not like someone, and that shit is Just corny, say bro. you don't have a sense of humor. That's it. Yeah. I hate cancel culture. I hate like, the whole... First of all, when you, he came you out with that little tell me promo... That shit's not with funny. The album coming out with the baby, and then he said... Yeah. And then somebody said bro, he's he having the baby. On live. And he said, let's go. Yes. No, yes, no, no. bro. This was see, so funny. Did you see the billboards? You cannot tell me them shits weren't funny. Yo, bro. He is bro, he's a, a lazy yo, comedian. Call... call Call him whatever name you want to call him in a book. In a book, the boy is a fucking genius. Yeah, he's smart. He the dude is smart, bro. He is fucking smart, and he's funny. Like you can't, you not, and he not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy about him? And when he first blew up, and I, you could probably look at our older episodes and stuff like that. I was even like, yo, I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't even gay. <laughs> right. You, Nah, you know, nah, he's he's definitely gay, bro. Which is which he's is fair. Gay. But I'm saying so? like his, oh, but his I, antics, I, so. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> though. You when, know what I'm saying? Like his antics. Like, I mean, he doesn't no come straight off to man me, like, dancing with a whole bunch of gay dancers. Yeah, but naked. like I'm not doing but, that. But like, yeah, but that's because you're homophobe. You're, you're an artist. You're a music. Uh, it's artist. not about being a homophobe. But then it, I'm no, teasing, bro. I'm teasing. You have to think about it like this: you're a music artist, but. You think people do? Do we think that dudes who do gay roles in movies are always got to be gay? Like, no, oh, no, no, definitely do. they're not gay. He he's an entertainer. You know what I'm saying? So that's why yeah. I was like, I wouldn't even be surprised if he wasn't. Like when he first was saying it, I almost didn't believe him when he was like tweeting about it. I feel you. I was like, I was oh, yeah, how, how there was uh, there was mad. He he basically gave it out in the uh, rodeo song. The, yeah, like that song. whole thing. And even then, that had mm-hmm. me like that. Even like I was like, "Oh, he's doing." It. And then like I was like, "He's doing it." Tyler, the creator's doing it. They're all just fucking around, you know. I'm like, these people are right. fucking around, and I and I was entertained by it. So like even now, like even though he could be a figure in that world or whatever, I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't. <laughs> that because he's just an entertain. I just think he's an entertaining dude, and like he's ridiculous. But like also, this project. It's not, you know, for people that want to know, I obviously it's dope. I fuck with the project. I think the music is dope. I thought the, the features were very specific and strategic. Like you got Elton John dead center of this project. So you're going to get those gay listens, you know, Bro, tell like, me and, and tell me how this is one of Jack Harlow's best verses. Yo, he's it's one of them. What, like, morphing into what we what wanted the fuck? to be. Yo, like, I don't understand, like, Jack Harlow usually, like, he makes, I, f- I fuck with some of his songs, but I've never fucked yeah. with, like, Stand Alone shit, but, like, yeah. he yeah. ate on that feature. He ate, I was like, bro. what, on this project? Even, bro, <laughs> even Doja Cat, who doesn't jump into her rap bag as much as she should, she snapped. Bro, it's crazy. I'm like, here? Yeah. This is this is where we decided to do this? Here? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I didn't and, even, and I'm I didn't even mind Megan Thee Stallion's verse on it. She, yo, her, her verse was nice. Yeah. Her verse was nice. Crazy. I think it, I think it, it had. Fit, I, I kind of the wish there was thing. more features on here, though. I, Even you know, that Miley Cyrus and he, feature. And he said, oh, we were he singing said it before that on the, um, he said on the uh, on a what on Twitter, he said, "Oh, there was like, how come he doesn't have any any other features on here?" And it was like, "Oh, maybe, um, maybe they just don't like working with a gay black dude." <laughs> and I and I but felt honestly, like that was a shot at the industry, and I yeah. like it. But then again, I don't like it because what 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 about the other artists that probably did want to work with him, but didn't like was tied up with different things. You know what I'm saying? No, but honestly, for him to say like stuff like that, like I can imagine him doing that to spark up some controversy. But I honestly don't think he even needed them like that on this project. Because the one thing I, about I, this mean, project, I don't think they did as much but as I they were good gave contrast, it a little bit as more much contrast. as they were dope. The songs sounded like his songs. No, which, can you which imagine is, which is good. like a Griselda but, feature? I could. How funny would that be, though? I would have been fire. I could. You know what? I was kind of, you know, I don't know why, but I was kind of hoping like the baby showed up on this. That would yo, be bro, great. I, yo, bro, the baby featuring on this, especially with everything the baby is would've going through right now, would have been would've fucking been huge. great. That would have probably saved. Would have probably saved the baby's life. It'd be, that would have been high tier, like. Yeah. No, but honestly, I, I don't think he needed more features on this. Like, I, 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 th- I think honestly, I think just one or two. Do, just one or two. Give me one or two. Other Give me like Nicki Minaj would work on well here. with him. But I feel like he. No, you don't need. Why would we need Nicki Minaj when we had Doja Cat on here? Be- because the, because Wait, the but, fact that she, you got because Nicki the fact wouldn't you got have, Doja Nicki wouldn't have said got, anything or, that would have been that much better than Doja's verse. Like Doja's verse was literally like a better fair, Nicki Minaj verse. Fair, we don't need how about, Lander. How about Lizzo? That would have actually been dope. Him and Lizzo on a record for this. If she would bust out her flute, that would have been pretty dope. 
I would gotta have cool food. I, but I, I honestly, I didn't need it. Like I, I didn't need it. I feel like for him, this is his debut album, mm-hmm. and he carried this. I feel like he did his job. He won. He carried it. He released it on a perfect date because really the only other big name that dropped was Mozzie. Like this was a perfect drop. And no shot, no disrespect to Mozzie's nice, but Mozzie's not, he's not out there. Like he's not in that light. So this was a great time to, I think he released it at the perfect time. I think he had the right amount of features because this, if anybody wants to be like, yo, he has a bunch of features that he carried this project. Yes, okay. yep, which is wild. He did. Yeah, he carried this project, and everyone. It sounded like, it, it sounded like him. You know what I'm saying? Like his songs, and even though it sounded like his songs, he also switched up. He genre bended. Like, I love that life after Salem. I've been fucking singing that shit aggressively. Like, there's a bunch of shit on here, and I, what I also liked on this, you don't realize, you know, just for the you know the homophobes and those people out there. You don't realize it's like gay stuff. You'll catch a couple of, oh, the boy will do this or, you know, turn me around or some shit like that. But like, unless you're looking for it, this is just music, bro. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just vibey music, bro. bro, Just just replace the the he with her and you'll be all right. The thing I don't get is like, there's so many dope gay artists out there that people want to nitpick about specifically about him. Look at I Sam mean, fucking it's, Smith. It's Sam genre. Smith it is one of my favorite singers. It doesn't singers. matter. It doesn't matter yeah, it probably what is you're, genre. You're, you're putting your thing in. It doesn't make you the music better yeah, that, Yo, bro, I don't give a fuck who you fucking are sucking. Yeah. As long as the music is awesome, I, I can give a fuck what you do in your personal life. Yo, I think it, it doesn't the, affect I think the me, thing bro. that people forget is like a lot of music a lot of good music at that or just like talent, like struggle, the struggle of music and all that stuff comes from like, uh, it comes from a struggle. People that don't have some sort of struggle and not to say like they need to grow up bad, but if there's a person who their whole life, they had to play piano, they're going to make dope piano music. It just is what it is. That's a struggle too. You know what I'm saying? There's Mm. always something attached to it. And he had a crazy (laughs) upbringing. Like one, you know, he says he grew up gay, but he was in the military. He did a lot of shit that people, tell you you're supposed to do and it wasn't hitting for him you know what i'm saying that's a struggle so like that comes with the territory of like people who make good music <laughs> you know yeah yeah i mean if we're so gonna like keep people it who are gay if you're coming up if you came up in like the generation we did where you know gay you know terms and stuff were insults and you were kind of not allowed to be gay and all sorts of shit like that you had it rough coming up so i would i'd be upset if your music wasn't good <laughs> you feel me yeah but I mean, I'd if we're like, going to keep it a buck, part of the problem with him and, and hip hop has been notoriously homophobic over the years. Oh, yeah. And oh, I feel yeah. like that's, oh, just, that's this that's, is well, like, I mean, but and which is which is which which is, you know, I know people want to jump down like the hip hop's throat and all that bullshit. But it's like, yo, one, we can't fully chalk that up to hip hop because during the era, like the golden era was the 90s. The 90s was also when the media, not just people, the media pushed HIV and stuff onto gays. Yep. It was their fault. So there was a, so it was just as much as it's now, it's the in the cool thing to be like gay or whatever. Back then, it was the cool thing to hate the gays because of HIV, because that's what the news told told people to do. And we're jumping back to what I said. You're either followers or leaders. You feel me? Like, that's just how the world was then. <laughs> and I'm not yeah. like saying it was good or bad. I'm saying it happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it fucking happened. So when you start a cult, like that's, it's no different than like the fucking Confederates, like the motherfuckers, their birth was to, they love slavery. They were born with slavery. So they fought for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the same difference. The hip hop, that shit was. You heard it here, folks. Johnny's for slavery. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> uh, but uh, you see what I'm saying? Imagine that's it. Not your man's support. Nah, I'm not gonna. But yeah, nah, nah don't group like, me in with that, bro. Are you high? You better not be. You better nah, be. you high, bro. I'm allowed Chill. to say that. I'm allowed to not. <laughs> no, but yeah, like that's just that's just the that's what the world was. That's what hip hop. Unfortunately, when it was created, those were the times. That's what it was created with. Yeah. It was created with that. It was also created with violence. It was also created with struggle. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there was some positive stuff too, but shit changes. Shit changes. Like things, things get weeded out. Things get changed. Things, you know, it's just how music and everything in the world is. But yeah. Art, bro. Art is ever changing. That's it. It's subjective. It's subjective, but it's also influenced by anything. (laughs) Literally anything. 
but this project slapped for me. I fucked, I fucked with this project. I thought the pacing was dope. The beats were super bright. It's very pop. You can hear a lot of the money, but pop is dope because pop is just variety, bro. Like pop music to me is like a fucking charcuterie board, nigga, with all the cold cuts and cheeses. Yo, you know what's funny? Now that you bring that up, just that I'm even gonna get off the subject, but I no, mean, so my mom. My mom, okay, I, I don't know. I never knew what the charcuterie board was, bro. Swear to okay. God. So my Adult mom, size, wonderful. Yo, bro, <laughs> yeah. it's, but she, like, she has, like, you know, the expensive shit, like the actual one you buy from Pottery Barn, you fucking have it up for decoration and shit. To yeah. me, it looks like a regular fucking cutting board, bro. So I'm yeah. at her house, I'm cooking dinner or whatever. I can't find a cutting board, so I use that board, right? Oh, I'm she not lost thinking. It anything oh bro lost it wasn't even a fucking word i get home later on that night she calls me so i'm like immediately when she called me after i just left her house probably like a half hour ago i already knew like, I she was about to yell at me for something i don't even know what the fuck so she's was literally yelling on charcuterie oh, board, sir. you messed up my charcuterie board blah 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 i'm like first of all <laughs> what the fuck is a charcuterie board like what is that she was like that wasn't a cutting board you use uh yes it was <laughs> like what are you talking it's about wood. it's got it's a cutting board right like yo bro like yo yeah. she went fucking nah, but, yeah. shit. i mean that, uh, that's yo, bro, I, I had to replace it for her bro that, that Ooh, one wee. little ass board was like 80 bucks bro yeah I got, I got, I got one of them fancy ones. I'm, I'm about that, and I don't even eat shit like that. But you know, I'm yo, bro, like she that. gave me the one that I technically ruined, bro. I have it, and it, it, there's not a mark on it, so I don't know what the hell she's talking about. What mark she saw? <laughs> she just wanted you to probably, be mad at you. You probably used the wrong yeah, pretty much. soap on it. I, yo, bro, I didn't even wash it. Did I wash it? I don't remember. <laughs> That's why. I think I left it in the sink or some shit. She just knew it was used. She was like, uh-uh. He cut vegetables on this that weren't that weren't served raw. Uh-uh. It's got to go. <laughs> Yo, Gotta bro, get rid of this. Not yo, this shit's crazy. But yeah, either way, this this project is a charcuterie board. <laughs> the moral of the story. <laughs> no, but this is a good time, man. It was a good. It was a good time. It had it. You know, it had. It was just fun, bro. This is something that you know people can let you. You can let your like, your kids listen to us, and I promise you, they won't turn on you. <laughs> They'll just bop and sing because it's good music. No one's. No dudes are ordering you a drink because they heard this. For the guys out mm. there and you know like just yeah you'll be okay there's no gay agenda just for listening to this like yo if yeah. you like it you like it bro like it's fucking yeah. music you're it's not good gay music. because you like little Nas X. yeah yeah it's, you're yeah, gay because you you you're gay that's it <laughs> yo I, that's you, it. I, I don't know if you guys ever watched shameless but there was some shit on there that's so funny and it was like uh, someone just mentioned something and he was like oh man that guy hates gays it's like yeah 90 percent of people who hate gays are probably gay and i was like all right okay. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it makes sense. But either way, enough of the gay agenda. We're not pushing it on you people. A little bit, a little bit. We don't care. (laughs) (laughs) We don't care. You know, live your life. Do what you want to do. Yeah, do what you want to (laughs) do. Next project that we did. um, Oh, man, this timestamp's getting a little crazy out here. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Next project was uh, L... L N E M three late nights, early morning three by A M early morning and night Walker. Oh, I see what they did there. This was, um, this was dope, but I must say, I have to say something. I'm going to say it. Say it. Say it. You won't. The features <laughs> ate food more than they did on this. First of all, oh, I thought, I think night Walker, night Walker. You think probably- it was controversial? I think the features kind of took this project. I think Nightwalker is a top five rap name. Rap name. It's a great rap name. It's fantastic. Yeah. I feel like he yeah. should be uh, hunting vampires. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. He's I think blades, he's like he's the cousin night, of Nightcrawler. Night nah, he's the cousin blades of Nightcrawler. Night he's Night Blade's Walker. name is the Daywalker, you know? <laughs> Facts. Blade's he's cousin. Night yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he's I like, mean, well, he's the cleanup guy when Blade's done killing during the day. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, gotta, gotta mop up the mop up the blood the blood orgy. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I think that, I think Lil Vic and Otis, Otis 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 that's his name Otis. Oh Otis, yeah, Otis, Otis Gold. Otis Gold and Lil Vic they probably had the best verses on his whole album. Oh yeah, Little Vic. Oh, easy. Little, Little Vic went fucking stupid. Little Vic is nice, and he nice. is just he's one of those people. He's got that energy that I appreciate because. If you send him something and he's not it he, he he's not just trying to kill you like he is he's trying to make it his song Facts. and i love that energy 
people like that are th- what you need in music. He's like, how can I ruin this for your fans? Yeah, mm. how can I how can I make your fans go? Damn, like I need to listen to this Vic guy now. I'm not listening to you anymore. But yeah, I this thought you killed it. King Magnetic went nuts. Otis goes nuts. Ito on the first track, nuts. It, it, so know, many, so many positives. fireheads on here. Yeah, it was just it was just crazy to me. And and not to give you know not to say anything about you know the the dudes on this project. They're not like they're everyone did their thing, but I just feel like the, it was the feature show. It was like you know yeah. what I'm saying. It was the feature I show. Did. And, and and I enjoyed it still. Still, I thought the production was all dope. I thought this was a good time. It's got a lot of raps on there. But you know what's crazy? I listened to this. Obviously, this is the Friday releases, so I listened to this after Montero. You can really hear money because if you listen to the that the Lil Nas X project, then you jump to this. It sounds like someone turned your volume down. Mm. Yep. And I blast my music when I review it. I want to hear everything. And I was like, I was like, shit. Like I was like looking at my volume. I'm like, this is like, did I turn it down? Like it just felt that much lower. That's that money, man. Money hitting them frequencies. But this project was dope. I mean, it was dope, but it just, I just feel like the features kind of stole the show. That's just, just how I feel about it. I can see that. Yeah. Like, and then not to say they were bad. It's just the features were like, hey, we're hungrier, you know. So we're gonna lose our fucking minds it feels like it feels almost like a project where like he worked with everybody he wanted to but he wasn't prepared yeah yeah i don't know he probably wrote all his shit first and then gave them that that window of opportunity to fucking lose their minds but that's life that's life and then the last project is quite possibly crawling its way into my top five (laughs) this was alpha by the bad seed oh my goodness the oh, no, no. the uh, the elder head. Remember we we dubbed them elder head. Yep. This the, the eldest the eldest of heads. The amount of fucking just just the raps and the the aggression and the punchlines and the and the, just the wordplay and the flows from him alone is like oh my goodness. But then you got the nerve to have fucking Sadat X on here and Tone Spliff and Guilty Simpson and Rusty Chooks. Relax. Mm-hmm. Relax yourself. Chill out. Like, a Bad Seed says shit that just makes me, like, just w- want to wear the baggiest shit and just look mad suspect in public. <laughs> you know, like... It's got, it's know, got the energy of the dude... The older dude at the barbershop that not only does he yell at you, but like he'll be ready to beat your ass over yeah. a sports pin. He, he gives me the energy of dudes whose heads are always on a swivel. Yeah. Like you know he's got to sit yeah. facing the exit. Yeah, yeah. Like those dudes who are just always prepared for who knows what. We don't know. And it's just his raps translate. He knows. That way. He knows. And we don't. We don't know. We're not ready. But it's just, he's talking real shit. He's talking drug shit. He's talking why these young cats don't want to rap with him, which they don't. And we need to talk to him about that. We need to schedule a day, guys, when we got to get him on to talk about it. But he's talking about how nobody would even, nobody wants to even rap with him. And he, honestly, he could give all these young new cats a run for their fucking money. Like he would, I think he would take over a fucking Griselda track. I think, would, I think he'd go toe to toe with Benny. And fucking Conway. Mm. I feel like he would cook West Side. I feel like he'd go toe to toe with a fucking Rome Streets rigs and them. Like he's just nice, bro. Like he's disgustingly nice. And it's just, it's not even fair. It's ridiculous. I, I agree. He's yeah, one of ridiculous. he's one of our he's one of our discoveries from the page. Yo, Elderhead. For me. Elderhead. They just like I'm just like, yeah, I'll always be a fan. Yeah, yeah. And he just doesn't he doesn't let me down. And it's like even on projects where he's not like completely losing his mind, I'm still like, oh, this is nice. But this project here is fucking dope, man. I, I don't, I, I, I don't know who did most of the production, but I do definitely hear some not stuff on here because I could usually tell Nas production on here. But the production, mm-hmm. his production choice, fire. It's just the way he raps. Like every intro to the episode, whenever we do these episodes, I play La Bamba because that's my favorite. You know, it's my favorite song by him. But like. It's just he's nice, bro. His flows, like just the shit that he does with this hip hop shit, like you can tell he's just the vet. And the fact that he puts out like this, like a project, like every other month, is just like yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yo, this you know he's just like yo. I write these raps all day. This is easy for me. 
And that's scary. Yeah, when right. someone hits a bag where they're writing so much, where it gets that easy, like this is this is that time to hit them up. This is that when prison, you hit those type of. He got that up. prison book. He got the prison book raps. Yo, yo, it's like sheets and sheets and sheets. Fact. And I, and I was here for it, bro. I fucked with this project heavy, bro. For 16 songs, you know, it's got some skits. Uh, dude, I thought this was not even I, like this was just back to back raps, raps, rap, like fire. This is fire, bro. This is undeniable fucking heat. Undeniable heat. Like I'm probably going to bump it, you know, when I jump on my Xbox tonight. But that's just how I'm living. Back. How I'm living. But um, that's all we got. That's all we got for the week. I don't think I forgot anything. I think we're good. I got it all listed out here. It looks good. But that's all I got for the week's peoples. I'm streaming Monday night. Send me your tunes. But I'm also streaming on Tuesday. I'm reviewing an album. I'm going to post the album that I am reviewing live on Twitch for Tuesday. So get in tune. Talk to us. Send us some music. We are out here. And we got we got our list under control, you know? So we're ready to put out some reviews. But that's all I got, man. It's John D, Prince Perez, and Walco signing off. I'm yes, out. Sir. Back to these tunes. Peace yes, out, sir. Thank you.